Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood Natty here. My name is Matthew, and today's video is a range test for the Century Arms AP5M. So yesterday, Big Brother Natty and I, we actually went to the range. Um, I decided that I was going to run about, I think, 100 rounds of ammunition through the AP-5M. The ammunition in question was um, one Federal box of American Eagle, and then the other one was also Federal but didn't say American Eagle. And I think those are different, um, different ammunition boxes because the muzzle velocity, the data, it's actually different. Uh, not too different, maybe, you know, a difference of uh, 100, uh, 100 feet per second or something like that. But pretty much close to identical. And we used the, uh, I like this target, this is my favorite one, just cause you can kind of like, you have different targets to adjust on. And um, as far as the shooting goes, I actually shot first, cause I just wanted to sight the gun in. You know, I, I shot maybe 10 rounds through it just to make sure it was sighted in. And I was hitting pretty much right here, bullseye in the center guy. So I figured, okay, that's it. <laughs> I have no more reason to shoot. I just wanted to make sure it was sighted in. I sighted in at uh, seven yards or 21 feet. So Big Brother Natty is pretty much the one who shot most of it. I think in the end, he shot maybe 70 rounds and then I shot maybe 30. Um, as far as any issues encountered, there was a lot of um, failure to feeds, a lot of failure to ejects, and a lot of uh, double feeds. But the good news is that it only happened in one magazine. Uh, this guy right here, I marked him with the orange. This was the one that was giving us the most problems. Um, almost every single time, almost 90 to 100%, it was going to be some kind of failure to feed, eject, or double feed. Um, this magazine was no problem at all. It actually ran pretty flawlessly. I'd say if there were any issues, there was some failure to feeds, but I think that's just user error. Um, so basically, I think that when you load the gun, you really have to hit the thing. You know, you really got to go at it hard. And then I don't think there's any failure to feeds after that. Um, you know, this is a whole new kind of mechanism for me and Big Brother Matty. So, you know, we're not used to trying to, you know, hit this thing pretty hard, make sure that it's feeding correctly. Um, but honestly, after that, there was, there was no issues with this magazine. Um, I think... Before that, there was maybe three failures to feed for Big Brother Natty, and like one failure to feed for me. So, um, as an end result now, you know, with this bad magazine, I'm actually, I already called Sentry Arms, and they said that um, for any issues like this, a defective or bad magazine, you have to email, email them, and that's going to be at um, support at sentryarms.com, and they ask for, you have to give them your serial number, firearm serial number, I think your shipping address and then also the issue diagnosis. So that's good. <laughs> um, so that, at least that gives us another excuse to go and, and shoot again, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Me, me and Big Brother Natty, we like this gun. This is great. Um, as far as the accuracy, um, I said that it was centered when it started and that's true. It was centered, but then, you know, Big Brother felt that it was, um, you know, either it was losing its sight which is possible. You can adjust the sight on these on these guns. This rear sight, you can just turn it. Oh, how are we going to do this? So you can just turn it, you know, and it will... Okay, I'm left-handed. I got to do it this way. <laughs> but you can just turn it and it moves the whole sight. Give me some, give me some pressure here. Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. Hmm. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, but you can just turn it, you know. So that's how the sight is, um, I think this is height. Yeah, that's height. When you turn it, there's different heights on this, this circle. And then as far as windage, that's going to be this guy right here. Do you see the notches? These guys, these notches? Um, you turn it, this screw, and it will turn it left and right. So that's how you do the sight adjustment. And I thought it was centered. I'm pretty sure it was centered, but... Um, after Big Brother's concerns, I took a few, few few more shots. So I took the one at the two, and you can see that that is pretty low compared to the bullseye I had up here. And then I did it again at five, 
and it seemed to be a little bit left. And then I did it again at three and it's a little bit left. Oh, and one, I did one as well. Oh, you can't see one. There we go, three and one. These guys also were shooting a little bit left. So I don't know if the sight is uh, loosens on its own. You gotta keep an eye on that. Um, but I did change them again here. And so hopefully when we get the new magazine, I will go ahead and um, sight it again. <laughs> sight it again and then hopefully we'll have a better run with uh, two functioning magazines. So with that being said, here is the uh, shooting footage uh, for me and Big Brother Natty. Hope you guys enjoy. Other than that, have a great day and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye now. Just a little left. Oh, oh it's again. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Can I take the, take the magazine out too? Yep, make sure there's nothing in there. Go ahead, you're good to go again. Should I leave the dummy? Or yep, leave it yep, it's fine, no problem. There you go. So, okay, a little bit. Yeah. It's a little high right. Apparently not. He's just looking at me wrong. A little high left. Okay. Remember the slow pull. Left. Okay. I like this. It's more centered, but still high. It's uh, centered, but a little bit high. Okay. I didn't see where that one went. Hey, you're jammed. So, yep, take it out. You still have some rounds in there? Nope. Sorry. You're empty. Okay. Okay. You can put in the second one there. I already loaded it for you. Okay. So, okay, this is a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Oh, oh. again? You got a double fade. Take the magazine out. There you go. Okay, so you had one round there. Again. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I think this I bet you it doesn't like 115. I couldn't find 124. Is, it, is that what this is? Oh no, the the bullet weight, yeah, it's oh. 115. Okay, so but I hear they like 124. Okay. But most of my carry guns are 115, so I don't even carry 124. Oh. There you go. That's okay. Okay, try it again there. May not have taken a round. Yeah, I don't think it took a round. Yep. Oh. I don't think this one uh, does very well. You mean, you mean that magazine? This magazine. Just okay. Kind of. Try try a little bit more. Okay. And we'll go back to the other one. Okay. That was right on. That was bullseye. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Again. Okay. 
four. I'm trying to aim for four. For four? Okay, yeah, you can go for four. Okay. That's not bad. Four? That's not bad. Those are pretty close, actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a little high. Okay, okay. Just focus on the smooth pull and don't think about the explosion. Okay. Going for five? Uh, no, four. Oh, well, you would have gotten a good five if you're going for five. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I mean, is it all hitting there? Um, I was trying to aim for aim directly at four. It's a little. Yeah. Is it close all the way up or right? It's, it's all the way up. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, okay. Four. Right. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, I think you're empty? Yep, yeah. Empty. Okay.